thoughts are the precursors of anything we do in life thoughts create emotions thoughts create feelings and thoughts are the basis of actions so if we want to improve our actions we must start by improving our thoughts Swami ji you are the international authority on the topic of mind management and wrote several books now we have a new book on power of thoughts what is the difference between managing one's mind and thoughts is there a specific sequence in which the reader should read these books like mind management followed by power of thoughts harry we can understand it like this there's a machine chi and the products it creates for example if you have a lathe machine ji you can do a variety of things with it yeah likewise the mind is the machine and thoughts are its creations these thoughts are so impactful yesterday we were introduced to the power of sound yes and we saw how people benefited through those sound frequencies thoughts are also vibrations at a much subtler level okay so quantum physics informs us that matter as we see it is a deception factually everything is an energy our body is also an energy yeah and sound energy impacts it thought energy impacts it at a even deeper level there is a story in the puranas that shravan kumar used to carry his parents yes and take them wherever required yeah in dandakaranya at one place he told his parents how long will i lift your burden like this enough is enough and he put them down So Shravan Kumar's father understood there's something wrong with the place. This was the place where Surparnakha used to live. So the vibrations were not right. Yeah. He told Shravan, "It's all right. Just carry us a little bit further." And when Shravan Kumar went out of that place, the vibrations changed. Got changed. His intellect also got purified. Wow. so the vibrations that people think in a place they get embedded in the environment yeah and that's the reason why when people come to the temple they say oh i feel divine vibrations out here yes absolutely it's the bhakti it's the devotion that people have done there yes so thoughts uh, can have the power to poison our blood yeah. or to purify it beautiful we all know that just by thoughts we can lift our blood pressure our heart beat or lower the heart beat but science tells us that even the chemical composition can change yes and most importantly thoughts are the precursors of anything we do in life thoughts create emotions thoughts create feelings and thoughts are the basis of actions so if we want to improve our actions we must start by improving our thoughts now in the first book i had talked about the science of the mind yes i have read it two three times already i'm sure each one of you must have read that book and this one is about the power of thoughts yes now your question is that how do we read these is it a sequel or can we read them separately yeah let us say somebody is using the lathe machine to manufacture products yeah now he doesn't need to understand how the lathe machine works yeah he can just understand how different products are made yeah likewise the power of thoughts can wow. be understood by itself 
But then some operators wish to go deeper and say, if I get a grasp of how my machine works, then I can use it even better. better. Likewise, either you read both the books, but if you want to read one book, then Power of Thoughts is the first in the sequel. Wow. And Science of Mind Management is second. Amazing. 